Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Many of True Dead, and welcome back to Rome Total War. Last time we arguably ran into what's possibly our biggest challenge yet, two of our cities under siege at once, and while we've weakened the Greeks slightly, we've still got plenty of work to do, so let's get these cities liberated, shall we? Right, and now this means we just need to go and clean these guys up, which actually should be pretty simple to do, because now we can bring the forces from Larissa and surround these guys. The trapper shall become the trappy, and indeed they've literally only got 23 peltas remaining, not even worth considering. Though the problem is we're still going to take significant casualties taking on this force, which is purely on grounds that, yeah, we need to actually close and pin their hot plights so that our cavalry and our war dogs can get in that first crucial charge that leads us to rolling up their line like we did in the Battle of Termin Ridge. We're going to do the same thing all over again, but it's a difficult thing to do. It does mean you take casualties unfortunately. If we're lucky they might back off entirely but equally it kind of doesn't matter. Remind me you have yeah you have literally no traits. Maybe you shouldn't get involved in this fight. Draw up a nice big infantry army. Bring all our indirect fire. The war dogs everything. All of you guys are coming out of here please. Thank you. Let's just lower Larissa's taxes a little bit. Oh <laughs> Oh, fun stuff. Uh, yeah, Larissa, Larissa's uh, in a difficult situation right now. Okay, fine. You can have one unit of Illyrian mercenaries. Go on. That is not helped very much. As the population gets bigger, of course, it requires more standing troops to have any influence whatsoever. So we'll just keep training more troops here. And hopefully that will mean 70% order. Is that good enough? Oh, go on then. I'll leave you with one more unit for Starty. There you are. That'll keep you from rebelling next turn. So now I should be able to, actually I should be able to hopefully get around here, kill these guys, and then I probably, no, I won't be able to make it back to Larissa. Not this turn, unfortunately. There just isn't enough. Well, maybe, maybe the cavalry will. We'll have to see about that. But if we're very lucky, the Greeks won't even want to fight this battle. Now that I've weakened them sufficiently, they'll see they're so outclassed, they'll just make a run for it. So we have to at least clear these guys out, and no! No! They want to go for it. All right, well, that's 100% fine. Not computer control, please. Computer controls, you'll totally get yourselves killed. So now, yeah, we've just got to take out these guys. We've got a lot of indirect fire. We've just got to use it intelligently. Let's go. Let's do this. All right, what have we got here? Pretty flat battlefield. And actually, it looks like there's a very good chance we'll be fighting from uphill. That suits me very, very nicely indeed. Right, and everyone is actually broadly, you're all in the right position. Let me just quickly adjust the formations and we'll be ready to go. The nice thing is I can have my skirmishers and my indirect fire right up front because the army I'm taking on is so lacking in any mobility. It just won't matter. So you guys around here, the general right in the middle to provide inspiration to a load of people. And then actually, you know what, there's no reason not to have the cavalry right on the flanks ready to charge out. And remember, the cavalry is actually... I may need to move one the cavalry over. Yeah, the cavalry may as well be on the flanks. I don't need to kind of shield them from the enemy cavalry, because the enemy has no cavalry. So that's everyone. Put you into formation. Begin the battle, and you are right over there. Now we just... What are you going to do? Oh, are you going to try and push forward to get to the top of the hill before we do? Because there's a bit of a question as to who's going to get the top of the hill here. Uh, yeah, you you guys are pushing forward. That's fine. The men of Crete will very soon bring these guys into... Yeah, actually, they are... I think they're slightly on the lower ground right now. But that's fine. Oh, men of Crete. Hang on. Press delete. Let's do this. Let's actually see this view. That I, I never knew this was in the game. I was told about this in the comments. If you tap delete, yeah, you follow the archers. And then when they fire, the camera follows the arrows. How good is that? That is really, really damn cool. So hit all of you guys. Lovely. And that's going to do a little bit of damage. The problem of it is... It's probably not the most efficient use of the arrows, is it? I'm probably better off going for guys who haven't got their spears down yet. So I'm probably better off going for, like, these are actually um, armoured hoplites. That's questionable. Uh, yeah, let's go for some armoured hoplites here. Let's just also get my... Actually, get my troops a little bit more spread out. These guys are a little bit thin and spread out here, so let's just actually start getting my troops a little bit more thin and spread out, ready to encircle as far as possible. Get my cavalry out here. Get my cavalry out here. My... Why are you guys AI controlled? I distinctly told you not to be AI controlled. Oh, that's a real concern. Because <laughs> now, now I know that those guys are going to be idiots and just toss themselves into a meat grinder. So that that's great news. Right, um, you guys. 
get over here. Basically, we just want to surround these guys as quickly as possible. Uh, you guys can flee as soon as you need to. Just keep tossing in some spears. These guys are probably going to panic in a second. Get my Crete Narches into safety over here. And now, just, I'd say, yeah, and now at this point, yeah, they've immediately broken. They don't like having this much stuff going on, do they? Everyone's going to toss at these guys. Those are actual proper hot flights, but even then, it it doesn't matter. Uh, right, okay, you guys fall back over here. You guys fall back over here and get ready for these guys. The horses are now at the back of you. And if I just basically slam into these guys now... Yep, yeah, fine. Okay, now, hang on. Pause for just one second. I now want you guys to stop firing for one second, if you'd be so kind. Stop firing, okay? Do all of that. Don't fire for a second, because I don't want you firing on these hoplites while my general's in the midst of it. So you do that. You then immediately stop moving, and you can go after these militia hoplites. Good. We're wiping these guys out nice and efficiently. These idiots are trying to take down cavalry who they'll never catch. You can go for these militia hoplites. They are steady, but actually they're steady concerned. You might as well go forward and start going after... Yeah, go for these guys. That's actually a decent target for you. Uh, meanwhile, once that's done, the general can go for these... Oh, don't, 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 don't get yourself caught there. <laughs> okay, that almost went wrong. Good. Uh, right, you guys, get yourselves nice and spread out over here. Lovely. And those hoplites have... They did break, but they've recovered now. These guys go over here. You guys just start pushing forward over in this direction. The cavalry just moves back over here into safety for the minute, just so I don't lose track of where it is. These hoplites are steady. You move over there. You guys just keep getting taken out over there. I probably actually wouldn't mind these guys pushing forward a little bit just to keep the attention of these bastards over here who I really don't want to get involved. Please do not get yourselves killed. I might need to, I swear I told those guys to not be AI. Damn it, but we'll have to see. Right, um, we'll need to, okay, I just need to basically get these guys over there. Just make sure nothing's going on over here. And then we'll prepare for a big attack. Draw your attention. Hastati into the side of you. And then these guys are, well, they claim to be steady. I think they're going to be in trouble as soon as they realize, yeah, they've got, and job done. They've broken immediately. A hoplite on its own is not to be worried about. Right. Uh, Cretan archers need to go forward right now. Don't worry about this. The Equites can now mop up that hoplite. This is lovely. There's one unit of Peltas has decided to charge out into the field. Magnificent big damn heroes that they are. Well, let's just get them routing because the more units that are routing nearby, the better. Uh, right. One of you units, please. Go over here. What? What are you even thinking? Are you actually... These, they have decided to flipping charge Hastati. And they're going to do a tiny bit of damage too. Oh, oh, flip, flip, flip. Those guys recovered. Those guys recovered. Get the general out of there. Don't want him taking on recovered hot blights. Marvellous. Uh, let's just get him out of there for a second. And oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay. Bad things are happening here. Which is one unit of armoured hot blights is heading down here to take on the flipping AI. Which I cannot, I can't control. I can't control. So, I'm going to need to have to send something down there for purely for the sake of making sure these guys don't get themselves flipping killed. I'm going to send one group of Prinkipes as quick as I can down in that direction. And then, that's Hoplites. Your Militia Hoplites, you don't have to be worried about. Honestly, the only thing left to be worried about is these Hoplites and those Armoured Hoplites. Let's focus our fire on those hoplites. Let's get my general out of here. I'm going to get one unit of... Where's the other unit of cavalry, by the way? The unit of... Oh, there it is. Right. Let's get the other unit of cavalry also moving down in this direction. Because I need something to flipping protect my general before he foolishly gets himself bloody killed against those armoured hoplites. Which he totally flipping will if I let him. So, yeah, the Hastati have just got themselves... No! No! What are you doing? <laughs> The AI has a flipping death wish, damn it. Okay, I guess we have basically no choice but to do this in a needlessly taking casualties sort of a way. Because I don't see what else we're going to... Oh, flipping hell. Okay, it's all under control. It's fine. Right, let's just send a bunch of Hastati over in this direction. The Oh, you guys, go forward and just start pelting these hoplites. That's fine. The Cretan archers, 
Just go for the armored lads. They're off on their own, so don't need to worry about them right now. I'm going to send you over here just in case. I don't even know what you're bloody doing. So you've just decided to get involved, so that's fine. You can also get involved. And now I just need to to watch. And I really hope the, the Equitairs have decided they're going to try to charge into the back. You are steady. Get into the rear. Get into the rear of these guys. Okay, where's my... Where's the general decided he's going to go and into the rear of them that is going to significantly break up their formation and where's where's wait hang on where's the general where's hang on a flipping minute where are you general oh you've decided to run over here that's really interesting you've just decided to go over here my horse is now going to go over here the militia hoplites are already wavering so they're going to break almost immediately the moment anything touches them and actually, I've decided I don't want to... Oh, no, I do want to charge my horses over there. That's absolutely A-OK, -okay, in fact. Um, everything can now just head over here. These hoplites are shaken, but in a moment, we'll just get them get them over there. What's going on down here, by the way? Yeah, a group of Hestati is being just utterly murdered. That's A-OK. That's -okay. That group of Hestati is already broken. A unit of basic Equites can now just charge into the rear of these guys, pursued by them. That, yeah, that unit of Hoplites is trying to head over here. That unit of Mercenary Peltas decided it doesn't want to get involved. Into the rear of these guys should break you almost immediately. Wavering, come on, break you bastards. Yep, they've broken. Now, we just need one final big cavalry charge into the rear. This is nice and easy. These guys have decided, this is how useless the computer is. And into the rear, please. And... Kaboom. This will just break up the phalanx. When the phalanx is broken and it's kind of more toe-to-toe, -to -toe, that's better. Wait, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Where are you? What are you... No! No, 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 no! <laughs> oh, God. My general got himself in the middle of a flipping you bastards. You absolute flipping bastards. That's fine. Don't worry. It's under control. It's all under control. Um, right, horses around the back here. We've got, we've got... No, 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 Not Cretan archers! Not the Cretan archers! I didn't mean to charge the Cretan archers! No, get the Cretan... Oh, flip. Right, well, that, that was unfortunate. Their leader is breaking. I just accidentally charged my Cretan archers into prepared hoplites. That's good. That unit of Equites decided to break immediately. There's armoured hoplites, but I just need to break them off, to be honest. Oh, I could have lost my faction leader there so easily thanks to my own flipping incompetence. Right, uh, which way are you guys wanting to point your spears? Over in that sort of a direction by the looks of it? Good. In that case, we'll just get the heavy cavalry around here. Keep, keep the mercenary Peltas at the back here. Marvellous. And then, no, don't do it. <laughs> oh, he's so, he just wants to and the battle's the over. Whew. And drive them Didn't actually the release the war dogs in the end. Kind of forgot to do that. That... Could have gone worse. That could have gone a lot worse. And there we are. Clear victory in the end. We have got... Yeah, they got 228 kills in. That could have gone much worse. But fortunately, neither of our generals managed to throw their lives away despite their best efforts. Now, where does that leave me in terms of... Oh, yeah. Absolutely no chance of getting home to Larissa's day. So Larissa might well come under fire yet. We'll see. But Apollonia is still under siege. Apollonia, which has, well, it's got two generals, including a very, very competent factionaire, and not much in there. So we'll have to see what we can do about that. Let's see what we've got here, actually. We might just be able to pick a few of these guys off. Because there's, yeah, there's definitely some Peltasts, some peasants. We might be able to get a little bit of Sally. We've got a good army here, but no one to lead it. Aside, of course, from Vibius Brutus, who is... Well, actually, he's okay. The problem is he's not really, like, uh, about command so much. He doesn't really get any morale bonuses whatsoever. So, if he were to go over there and help out, he could probably put something. Let's just have a little look see what we can potentially do with another Sally battle here. Because thanks to the Factionaire, we've got a good, like, 130, 140 heavy cavalry floating around in this city. So, it's possible we might be able to do something useful here. So, what have they got? They've got the heavy cavalry of the family member, and he is... Favour of the gods, minus one for personal security. Oh, if only I had a flipping assassin, I might be able to actually take this guy out. So, tight-fisted, no morale bonuses, but sadly no morale penalties either. So that's fine. He would be assassinatable if I had an assassin, but they're locked to forum, so I don't have any of those in the entire empire just yet. As for his army, however, no cavalry. No cavalry, but a large number of Peltasts and some peasants. I'm just going to go quickly down then and see if I can just weaken these guys enough 
that this army over here can go in without a leader and finish them off. Welcome back to Apollonia, by the way. You may recall this is the city that we uh, took over right at the beginning of the game. It's grown a lot since then. But just like I said at the time, like um, the actual surrounding area always stays the same. So we've still got the same islands and all the forests in the same location and everything. So it's exactly the same place. That tiny crappy little village we took over at the very beginning of the game. This is the exact same place, but now, now this is a good Roman town. It's marvellous. I just love watching things grow as time goes on. Right, we've got ourselves a bunch of heavy cavalry, and they've got themselves probably a bunch of quite vulnerable peasants and whatnot here. So if we can just stay away from their general, though actually, between my factionaire and my other guy, the other general who's here as well, we might just be able to just straight up destroy their leader. We could just, just rush him. If we could just get him on his own, we've got enough heavy cavalry to just overwhelm him. Then they're down a leader. That could potentially work pretty well. Because if I try and rush their Peltas on the wings, because like clearly their, um, their actual line of Peltas is going to be much wider than their line of infantry can be, the only thing they could send to try and kind of hold out or kind of provide any backup would be the general. He's got literally only 45 men of heavy cavalry, and Greek heavy cavalry aren't actually that good. We could just go and smash this guy. Now that's worth thinking about. But for the moment at least, let's actually, so they don't kind of follow on what we're doing too closely, I'm just going to bring a unit of Histati right out here at the front. If they want to charge and try and take care of that, they're more than welcome to try. They're going to back off a little bit here. But yeah, if I've got these guys outside the gates too, that means they'll see an army in front of them. They won't necessarily reposition themselves just to try and react to my cavalry moving around. That Hastati is desperately trying to draw itself up. It's not doing very well, but whatever. Let's just move my cavalry off them to see if that actually improves things at all. Yeah, their Peltas are actually trying to... Guys, 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 you okay? We practiced this in the barracks. Like, no, Steve, that's... You're supposed to be facing... And, and you... Th I don't know why you threw it... Oh, God. This is the worst unit of Astarte I've ever seen. We need to send these guys straight back to the barracks. Don't worry about that. Instead, let's just move these cavalry out in this direction. They won't get that close to these cavalry because they'll be scared of the wall defences. A bit unnecessarily, to be honest, but they will be. So my cavalry just goes out in this direction. And we've got a nice soft squish unit of peasants over here. And behind them, some peltasts. All we need to do is get over here, smash into those there peasants. Yeah, they're trying to turn the line because they're aware of what might be happening here. Uh, but if they actually, actually, if I can get them to turn their line so that actually that flank ends up nearby to the walls, that might actually work pretty well for me. So just keep these guys moving here. They're trying to keep some spears to defend the rest of their troops. Let's just hit the peasants. Let's see if we can just ram those peasants, because they are kind of freaking out right now. They don't really know what they want to do. So, guys, just straight into the rear hip. Yeah, Peltasts! There you go. Straight into a unit of Peltas. Peltas get absolutely flipping melted. Lovely. They don't know what they want to do at this point. Back out. Back out, back out, back out. If we can just bait the general forward, ideally, into flipping range of some towers, I will take it. Yep, I think we have. The general is trying to go forward. Let's just bait him forward just a little bit more here. And now, just, I'd say, go for it. And then this guy gets right behind the back of him. And now we just basically flank their general and we just slam into him over and over. Lovely. So now we just slam into this unit of peasants as well. He decided to send peasants to reinforce... Oh, we've killed him. We, we've killed the general. The general is dead. I'm kind of wondering whether I might be able to win this battle with literally these two units. <laughs> once the general's dead and once a few people on the field are routing. It's not impossible, you know. And then we just slam into you. You'll break almost immediately because your general is dead and you're seeing people routing in front of you, which means you're going to be super sad. Uh, you guys all route. Now we just back off for a second here. Now we just need to get a few more people to route over there. We can certainly clear out some more Peltasts and some more Mercenaries and whatever. Yeah, you know, oi, 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 don't you throw things at me, you bastard. Right, now, excuse me, straight into you, lovely, and you will probably waver and break up. Yep, you've already broken, lovely, straight back over here. Over to these guys instead. They're trying to reload, but as soon as I turn my attention to them, they'll break instead. 
straight into you, break them, right. Now we can wipe out the entirety of the indirect fire again, just like we did last time. A lot neater than we did last time, actually. And meanwhile, now they've lost their only cavalry, the spearmen are too slow to reinforce. So now we can just wipe out all of these guys right here. Lovely. Now at this point, the Macedonians are vaguely trying to reinforce their own routing Peltas. It's not going to go desperately well for them. So we'll just let these guys, they're down to one. Oh, those are, the, those are the peasants, in fact. That's fine. Now we just charge on these Peltas, who are apparently eager and feeling good because they're on a hill. Yeah, good luck with that hill. Yeah, the hill didn't work out for you, did it? Meanwhile, the spearmen over here are starting to feel panicked because they're all isolated and their flanks aren't secure because they're not in a nice big line anymore. So that's another unit of Peltas effectively wiped out to the last man. Lovely. And there's another unit up here. Oh, hello. We've actually finally got... Yeah, some of them have actually decided to try and get involved. And, oh dear, this might not work very well, actually. My Hestati are trying to get into town, but the only way they can get into... Oh dear. Guys, guys, just, just to toss your... Oh dear. Guys, oh well. Never mind. Let's just get you guys over here to these Peltas. My Hastati have got themselves accidentally stuck in a battle they don't really want to get involved with, but uh, never mind, eh? Hopefully we might win anyway, so that's fine. We'll just charge these Peltas with our cavalry. Uh, as soon as they're down, we'll see if we can just smash into the rear of these guys. If my Hastati can just last long enough... No, they're already wavering. This probably isn't going to fly, but never mind. These guys will break almost immediately because they're all isolated on their own and they'll lose a lot of people. And yeah, let's just, just try and send a unit of flipping cavalry to help out these guys. They're steady, apparently. That's fine. You guys stay over here. You guys are going to panic because you're unhappy over taking casualties. And by the way, you're going to be in trouble momentarily. Right now, where's the general, by the way? Make sure he's not. I don't think he's in a dangerous position. And into the rear. These guys should break almost immediately. And yeah, break almost immediately. Lovely. Meanwhile, where are you, by the way? You are. Don't get yourselves too close to the other spearmen, by the way. So now we've taken out a unit of spearmen too. Further shortening their lines when the inevitable actual battle does occur. Marvellous. And what I didn't realise is actually quite a few of these lines of spearmen were already damaged. They kind of sent some uh, not particularly good quality reserves into this fight. Marvellous. These Hastati are to be commended, by the way. Despite their incompetence and managing to get themselves stuck in a fight I didn't want them to, they did actually avoid breaking. So that was nice of them. And just one more thing to do, which is I've got Peltas here who haven't actually thrown their missiles yet, so... Quite frankly, it may as flip him well. We may as well just get them close enough up to uh, the front lines. Just toss all their missiles in at some levy pipemen or something. Yeah, get in there. If those guys are going to be stupid enough to expose themselves, just toss some lovely uh, things at them while they don't have their spears up. Beautiful. Just, yep, keep tossing in some spears. These are, are these Illyrians or mercenaries? Oh, these are mercenaries. They're not even that good. And just keep tossing them in. Very good. So now we've eliminated a not insignificant portion of the strength. Of one of these lovely little levy pikemen as well. Yeah, actually, they've lost a third of their combat effectiveness. There's other damaged units around here as well. Honestly, I kind of feel like I might be able to wrap up this whole thing right here. Except for the fact they probably... Mm, they've lost their general. If there was a really weak one on the side, I'd probably just slam into them and I'd see what I could do. Because <laughs> I suspect I might be able to win this battle right now. That's kind of interesting, but it's not worth the risk when I've got a good army ready to come in and help me do it. Right, everyone back inside. You've done magnificently good work. Well done. Exit the battle. Really quit. I've been successful. Our army has not prevailed today, but then the same can be said about the enemy. A thousand people dead. Over a thousand dead on the enemy side. All right. Victory. Okay. So, they're down to very little. They've lost their general at this point. Yes, I'd say probably our best bet is just to bring these lads straight in and finish them off. We've got archers, we've got Hastati, we've got some actual cavalry to wrap them up. This will work just fine. So, bring you guys here. Bring you guys here. Bring you guys here. And you are now probably safe to begin this fight. They have actually decided they don't want to fight that fight. Well, that's a shame, because I've decided I do. And now, these guys can actually pick up a general. Now, who do we actually need here? Ah, yes, you've probably picked up some good traits, in fact. So, ooh, unquenched anger, but also bloody. This is unfortunately the downside of getting involved in too many skirmishes on the field. You do tend to pick up anger and bloody-related perks. Bloody, uh, when it gets to drenched in blood and stuff like that, becomes a little bit problematic. But for now, it's quite useful, because plus one morale is an excellent trait to have. Now, we'll also just retrain that Hastati. Lovely. And you will have... Hang on, you were... Yeah, you might become a decent military. 
military commander will send you with the mercenary Peltas out to join that army. And now, nicely, you can just go and wipe out this Macedonian scum. So it turns out that the Peltas that survived was just 51 Peltas, not even worth considering really. Mostly now it's just a whole bunch of levy pikemen. Yeah, every single one of them has poor morale. This is all poor morale troops because both militia hoplites and nephi pikemen have a very poor morale. So that is good. And the peasants as well. Actually, 19 peasants still being on the field is good because that means they're effectively a free break. And if they break for free, everyone around them will probably break for free almost immediately afterwards. So actually, this kind of works to my advantage. Let's finish these bastards off. Ah, now this battlefield works for me. There's a good chance they'll draw up over there, but then I can just pull over here and we should be. Actually, if I draw up over in this direction, we're pretty much guaranteed to have the high ground. So I will draw up over here. That will all be absolutely fine. Marvellous. So let's just quickly draw ourselves up in our usual formation when we're taking on extremely slow units. And I'm going to keep my spearmen at the rear, in fact, because there's no horsemen to take out, so I don't see any reason to expose those guys to danger. When there are horsemen to take out, those guys will be much more useful. Meanwhile, yeah, my cavalry can just hang at the back and do whatever it needs to do. And my archers and my Illyrians too, sorry, my mercenary peltas, in fact, can hang out right at the front. Now, these Roman archers are much, much worse than the Cretan archers we've had so far. They have less range, they hit less hard, but if we can get some experience under their belt, they will prove very, very useful, especially against Greeks in time. So we'll just, oh, we had another unit of Velites too. I missed that, sorry, my mistake. Right, that will do. Group the units, start the battle, and no, they didn't decide they wanted to be on the high ground. Well, that's absolutely fine. Let's just slowly start moving our men round. We'll get the high ground advantage, and then we will just pepper them with our archers. And the nice thing is they can't really, like, charge forward to try and take us by surprise while we're moving because every single one of their units is just so damn slow. Their Peltas might think about it, but if they do, we'll just see them off with our cavalry, so that's fine. And speaking of which, it would appear that some of their units have decided to try and expose themselves. That's absolutely fine, because we have now got a significant high ground advantage. So we will just pick these guys off as they come. Lovely, the archers are doing their job. The Velites will start doing their job momentarily. The Peltas are basically nowhere to be seen, to be honest. So we'll just get our units all in position. Start flanking. My Hastati can start drawing themselves out wide, just like we did last time. And then again with that. Lovely. In fact, I think already they're starting to have doubts about this. They're realising they've made a bit of a catastrophic error. And these guys will start any minute. Yep, yeah, they're already wavering. Already wavering, and in just a moment, I'm just going to get my general on the side here, and then my general, actually my general, this, this guy can just go in here, that, that's fine, these guys are going to break like now, pretty much, lovely, now, next up, guys, I want all of you to stop firing for a moment, please, so you just stop firing, oh, no, all of you, all of you stop firing, just for one second, and then redraw yourselves up in a better position, so that you are not firing on each other. Run, that's all fine. And now my Equites can just mop up two units of them already. These guys don't know what they want to do next because they've just seen two units of Phalanx as being completely wiped out. There's a couple of peasants down there. I don't even know whether... There's the Peltas in the back. They didn't even bother getting involved, to be honest. So at this point, now we just fall back and just slowly push forward with the archers. So probably at this point, actually fire at will. The archers can now shoot these guys in the back for a bit. And in come the shots to the back. And these guys are going to just collapse in the face of that. Yeah, lovely. Our Roman archers may be nowhere near as powerful as Cretan archers, but when we're shooting crappy troops in the back from the high ground advantage, oh, that's not what you want to see, is it? Nope. Archers on top of a hill. Beautiful. I don't actually know how the damage calculation is, by the way. What bonus damage exactly is calculated for archers when they're on the high ground. But it's absolutely unquestionable if you've played this game. It's very obvious that when archers are on the high ground, they do a much better job. I just don't know exactly how much of a better job. Right, move the army forward a little bit. And now my archers are free to start doing their job again. My cavalry will just... Oh, yeah, those guys have already been chased off. That's fine. My archers will now just start attacking anything that comes over here. That's no worries at all. The Velites can back up anything that needs any further firepower. But now, actually, if I can lead these guys over here... Oh, the Levy Pikemen are just going to melt. Especially as the Velites are just going to... Oh, yeah, these guys are just going to break like crazy. This is all lovely. That unit of Militia Hoplites is just running around, not really sure what it wants to do with itself. Uh, you, you are actually out of your javelins. So that's fine. You can just come to the rear at this point. 
And you guys just take out these guys, really. Are you out of your... Yep, you're out of your ones too. Fine, in that case, the skirmishers can get out of there. You guys can just fire on this. You guys can just fire on this. And I imagine, in a moment, if I can just keep these guys away from my horses, you just back off for a second. Now my archer's just going to tear apart these. And they're already broken. Lovely. Now we just run them down. And now while my Equites ride down the ones that just broke, my archers continue just shooting down the hill at anything that's over there. Beautiful. In fact, actually, just for once, let's actually see this. Archers, prepare your shots. Beautiful. No, no, no. Let's follow the arrows as they go on their beautiful downhill journey. And are you ready to... Oh, no. You're ready. You're going to change target over here. Yep. Go for these militia hoplites. They seem to be moving up. And prepare. And follow... Oh, I love following the arrows. I never knew you could do that. That's just beautiful. Now, at this point, we have... I think we've barely taken a casualty, to be honest. We might have taken, like, a handful. The peasants have decided to charge my cavalry. <laughs> Good work, guys. Gonna work well for you. Right, uh, what else is here? There's some Peltas, so I wouldn't mind taking out if I have the opportunity to. And I certainly just want to avoid them getting any spears. Yeah, they're trying to reload. I'm just gonna retreat up the hill. So they won't be able to do anything to me. The Peltas are just trying to get the old spear on my horses. They'll probably kill a few more of them. And now, basically... These guys are just sending the um, the phalanxes one to time up the hill, and they're just being murdered as they come. And now I should be able to use my cavalry to kind of distract them a little bit. Oh, I think I actually accidentally kind of broke one there. Right, you guys, now we just finish those off, and now you just go after the only group of pikemen that's got any strength to it left. And we'll just mow them up. This, this is just kind of quietly technical. This is why I wanted to rush to archery ranges, by the way. Once you've just got a couple of units of archers under your belt, and once you're using this, just look at the battlefield. It's just littered, carpeted with dead Greeks. And even though these are two basic, crappy, not even that flipping good archers, just look at the damage they've done. Also, I'm accidentally shooting my own horses because there is friendly fire and they're sort of in the way. So let's just get them out of the way. And now the final group of levy pikemen is just being torn apart. Like, basic levy pikemen and militia hoplites in like a big line. That is a threat. But if you've just got some archers and you can get yourself up on some high ground, it is just completely eliminated that threat. It's beautiful. And that is apparently, yep, that's their leader. That's all they've got left. And now we are just going to help them from above. Beautiful. And I believe my archers have actually finally, finally run out of missiles. That's fine. My hoplites can now just slowly march down the hill and basically throw their peeler to finish this up. I think there might still be just like a handful of guys who have, uh, yeah, there might be still a handful of the peltasts on the Greek side, but they'll probably break as soon as they see me. So now we just march down the hill. All together, lads, you guys are fresh, whereas these guys have been running around trying to avoid the arrow, so they'll already be, like, tired or winded. And now we just slowly move forward. Yeah, the Peltas are gonna try and do something. Let's just make sure my Equites don't allow them to do that. Uh, actually, uh, let's have only half of you be fire at will, please. I don't think we need the entirety of the army firing at will just yet. Just want to chase off these hit peltasts if I have the opportunity to. Lovely. And then peltast. Let's just see if we can just chase them away from the rest of the army. Lovely. They're already running. That group breaks immediately. Peltasts. I just need to... Yeah, if you just kind of click on them, then they kind of go into flea mode. So as a result, if I can just basically keep dancing around, I'll just keep them busy long enough for the rest of the army to do its job. In fact, actually, they just broke. This. Oh, no, they didn't. Sorry, that was the Militia Hoplites. The uh, the Peltas have not yet broken, but this is all fine. Just avoid these guys. Actually, just screw up. Take out these guys. If you guys are breaking Levy Pikemen... This is really stupid, by the way. I shouldn't be taking on Levy Pikemen with my horses, but they have now broken. And now Peltas. Come on, guys. You can see your friends breaking. Round we come, and now we're just going to be able to get a nice slam in on these guys. Yep, fine. And no, not quite there. Not quite there. I'm probably going to lose a horse there. No, I didn't. I avoided that. And now these guys are just going to take out the Peltas. Fine. And that means with that done, Starty continues down the hill. Uh, we just charge down there. Everyone in fire at will now, because now there's nothing left with those guys. The Equites are just mopping up back here. I want to make sure nothing escapes, if at all possible and yep take you out these guys all pause are you guys all in range Se oh quite a few of you are in range now this isn't going to work out well for you by the way 
and say hello to the Roman Peeler. Beautiful. Let's just continue this to make sure they've all been wiped out. In comes more javelins. Our javelins shall blot out the sun and down the pipe and go. And let's just send in our general for a bit of backup too. Just make sure that he gets a little bit of experience out of this if he can. I am at this point moderately confused why the battle hasn't actually entered. Oh, hang on. I think it might be this instance where actually the entirety of the... Oh, it's... oh yes. I've seen this before. Um... Technically, the battle doesn't end until every individual man has left the field. So even though his unit has left the field, this one guy has, for whatever reason, managed to get himself separated, which is sometimes kind of weird. So I'm just going to just quickly send the general over here to finish him off, because he is doing some marvellous running on the spot animation. But the thing is, if you actually click on the general to follow him, the general will go for the entire unit, not for him. So I need to actually position the general on top of him, and then, and only then, set them to attack. Which is uh, kind of weird, but it, uh, yeah, it, it's, a, it's an odd thing about this game. Because until every single individual model has left the field, the battle's not over. And now, come on, finish him, finish him, finish someone, someone attack him. No, come on, I believe in you. <laughs> oh, you can do it. You just get, get him around this way. And now, now attack him. Right, now through here, through here, through here. Someone murder this guy. Stab him. No. <laughs> It can actually be quite hard to finish these guys off on occasion. They actually got 21 kills. 1,317 kills to 21. Now that is a good manually fought battle. All right, ladies and gentlemen, with both of the towns liberated, I'm going to call it a part there. But with now two large armies on the Greek mainland, I would say the boot is very much on the other foot regarding the Greeks and the Macedonians. So I hope they feel very, very apologetic very, very soon. Otherwise, I might just go spreading plague to every single city they currently live in. We shall see you next time, ladies and gentlemen. And that next time shall be on Sunday. Yes, I've decided this series has done way better than I was expecting. Loads of people loving Rome to the Wall, which is fantastic. So we're going to try out doing Rome Total War three times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday too, together with New I Vegas. Can't. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true doubt. This has been Rome Total War. Thank you very much, and goodbye. We're going to build a large green park as a memorial to the bloody place that wouldn't stop burning down. Oh gosh darn it, the building next door is just catching fire instead. Can I just kind of demolish a church or something to make room for it? Because I will. Then next to the magnificent city hall, a giant statue of me.